Um, we're quite a small back group, and looking at what other people are doing, we do do an awful lot of what you all do, but we are, I think, a rather um, reactive rather than survey orientated group because we're, we're quite small and don't have many active members. Um, but we did do 30 walks and talks last year, um, and um, at least 28 roost counts for NBNP, eight of which were um, naturalist bats. So, um, you know, we do do very similar things. Um, we find that um, bat care has provided us with um, much of our knowledge of distribution of the different species around our area. Um, especially of the less common bats like um, whiskered and natteras. And um, so even the discovery of new roosts comes from call outs for grounded bats. Um, last year was fairly quiet and we only did about 70 to 80 bat collections last year. Um, <clears throat> With um, very low woodland co cover, um, reservoirs around the county are the focus of a lot of our survey work, especially Rutland Water, which is near me. <clears throat> and um, we find that we've got quite a strong cluster of relatively large for our area, um, soprano pipistrelle roosts, where there are about um, five or six roosts with between five and 700 bats in them. There's also um, a breeding population of Nathusias pipistrelle around Rutland Water, um, including in one of these sort of high seats um, that people use to shoot deer, um, but they don't shoot them in the summer, so that's okay. Um, our best hibernation site is um, quite small compared to some of the other groups around us, and we had 30 bats in that. But we do have one hibernation site which regularly has one barbastel, so that's um, or occasionally two. So that's encouraged us to look for barbastels. Um, what we have found with barbastels, though, is that they're so widely spaced, and they <coughs> tend to be fast moving um, and quite late at night. So that leads us to believe we're not very close to the roosts. Um, so it's really difficult to know where to start looking for roosts. Though the, um, you know, the, the, art, the pres presentation today about predicting where um, Eckstein's is might be something that we would use um, to perhaps predict where our barbastels are more likely to be found. But it does seem to be the northeast and Rutland. Um, we take Leicestershire and Rutland as one recording unit as it's Vice County 55. Um, quite a bit of bat work does go on independently of the bat group, but we're sort of involved or, or know about it. We hope that not much bat work goes on without us knowing about it, I have to say. Um, the Wildlife Trust has got a very important property and it was one of Phil Brown's um, most important sites. Um, there had been a lot of survey work by a member of staff of the Wildlife Trust, so um, it was very, very pleasing for both the Bat Group and the Wildlife Trust to find that it, it, you know, he caught 18 bats there of eight species in a very short period. Um, which means that we want to do more work there and, and um, you know, sp perhaps spread out from that area. And the Wildlife Trust certainly has it's got a, a big project coming up this year looking for barbastels and perhaps an enthusiast bats on its um, reserves, particularly in the northwest of the county. Um, we do also do um, a, a bit of autumn swarming, and again, that is also a Leicestershire and Rutland Wildlife Trust Nature Reserve, um, an old um, mine adit, which is a horizontal working as opposed to a vertical working. And we know that's um, prob certainly the most important hibernation site in Leicestershire and Rutland, <coughs> though we can't actually go into it, it's too dangerous. It is probably one of the best sites in um, our part of the East Midlands as well. Um, we do like to be consultant friendly. Um, I like to you know, provide records if I'm asked for them. 
Um, I also provide interpretation of some of the records and, and advice even when I'm not asked for it. Um, at the moment, we're, I'm helping um, do discussions with somebody who's um, producing a woodland management plan from one of our most important woodlands next to Rutland Water. And uh, that's where the Methusias maternity roost is. And um, I'm hoping that the consultant will be able to encourage the private landowner who owns the wood to start investing in a bat box scheme, which we might then be able to build on, um, especially as we've also recorded um, fast flying barbastels in the area, and it would be nice to encourage them to roost there. Um, we've also been approached by English Heritage to give a short presentation at one of the meetings that they're having of their trustees, garden <coughs> volunteers in one of our churches. Um, and they want me to give a brief overview of how bats can be considered in their church conservation work. And their marketing officer is also keen to show how the local community and visitors to churches can learn about and enjoy bats um, by using special bats evenings. Um, unfortunately, she's prefer referred to it as bats and broth nights which I'm not sure I'm quite so keen on. Um, and um, the, the back group has done similar evenings in, in churches where tea and cakes have been served and it proves to be very successful. So I'm hoping that, um, you know, with the backing of English Heritage, that will go out further and help um, the attitude to bats in our area. And, and just for the future, we want to find more barber spells. We want to find where the Methusias Pipistrels are roosting when they're not in the wood, um, and um, to confirm serotines in the county. Thanks very much. <laughs>